and gentlemen, welcome back to this epic adventure of 16 Bits of Awesome, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We are on part 7, <coughs> pardon me, and uh, we just received our mushroom and now we are going to, um, whatchamacallit, we're going to get our last pendant. So if you kill those guys, they don't give you any money, but if you let them live, they just drop money. And, well, why not? Alright. I don't know who you are, but if you're going to go up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Sure, old man. Come on. So you find this random old guy. The plot thickens. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Can you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. Don't want to stay wrong. Please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. What an intelligent man. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who's your age. King took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. Da -da -da. I'm sure he was trying somehow to use the power of the descendants of the wise men. So not only do we find out that this man is very old and wise, but that he is Zelda's daughter. So you gotta watch out. Oh, hold on. The missing maidens are still alive. I believe the hero rescued them. I wait for that day. Times have changed. Just talk too much. Anyways, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Oh, I wanted to give you this. You wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. He gave you the magic mirror. This mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel like it is going to absorb you into another world. That is some mirror. So those Koopa things are freaking monsters. They don't die if you attack them, but they turn to stone. You can't move past them or walk past them or anything. It's really annoying. Uh, yeah, so... Go ahead and talk to that dude if you ever need to heal real quick. Because this is a mountain where boulders are flying all over the place. So... So, um, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, like, like, uh, The Twilight Princess and other games, involves the Shadow World, and you can only get there by stepping on these magical blue transporter devices. And, lo and behold, we turn into a bunny. Or something. So, by teleporting through this magical mirror, we are able to teleport back to the light world. Um, also, it leaves its residue or whatever, so if we ever need to teleport back into the shadow world, we can just step into that, that spot and it'll go ahead and teleport us right out. <clears throat> so, we are a bunny because I guess in the shadow world you cannot maintain your form or something. <laughs> something. I'm, I'm not positive. Oh. oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can also use the mirror to uh, teleport to the beginning of a... Which one call it? Uh, like a castle or a dungeon. It's pretty useful. We need a quick getaway. So yeah, we can't maintain our uh, <clears throat> our 
body or whatever. We can't maintain our form unless we... It tells you where all the treasures are via the blinking dots and where the master dungeon is and all that fun stuff. But um, it's pretty important if you, this is your first time playing. So it's, I probably should have told you guys this like in the beginning, but. Meh. Like previous rooms where we could just dart right on through, this time we have to stay for the lovely square dance. and the skull for the boss and all that fun stuff. to understand and know exactly where I need to go. Make sure you fall on the top part of that hole and you'll land right there and get the moon pearl which protects me from the shadow world. And now I am able to transport into the place. Anyways, this is Pocket Crackety signing out. Make sure you check in for the next installment. Until then, see you later.